everybody, this is Chuck. Thanks for stopping by my shop. Um, today we're going to do a little product review. I uh, hope you enjoy it. We'll go through it relatively quick. Here are two samples of carbide end mills from a company called AccuCut. Uh, they sent them to me to uh, do a review on them. And uh, there's two, two units here. They're two flute carbide and they're multifunction so you can use for deburring, spotting, chamfering or side milling. This unit here is a 90 degree unit and it's, it's I gotta tell you it's beautiful. Uh, we'll give it a try and then this unit here is a 60 degree unit and you may notice that uh, I've already put it to work a little bit. This point on this unit was, I mean, is amazingly sharp and uh, I managed to break that off already doing something. Okay, well, we'll uh, get these uh, units set up in the mill and do a little uh, deburring and chamfering and some spotting and see how it does. We'll go with the, uh, with the 90 degree one since I chipped the point on the other one. Uh, but we'll start with this guy right here. So I'm not going to try to talk over the uh, machine here, uh, but uh, we'll start off here. I said I'm not going to talk over the machine, but we're at 11, uh, 1100 RPM. I've had to switch over to my iPhone. I just can't get my camera to focus. Drive me crazy. So anyway, here's the part out of the mill. There's the spotting. And when it was spotting, again, this end mill, the tip was so sharp, so pointy, you can see that it fractured that little tip off. But with that even fractured off, 
it's still spotted well. There you can see the chamfers in the holes. The edge chamfer that I did here and then milling that face. That was a 20 thousandths depth of cut just hand fed on the uh, y-axis. You can see I didn't have the end mill just deep enough so you can see the actual depth of the cut there. So this material, the uh, 20, or excuse me, the 45 uh, Rockwell tester will um, skate on it and the 50 does bite on it. So kind of give you a reference of what the material was here. Let's uh, put it back in there and we'll take a, a heavier cut. Gonna go handheld here, 50 thousandths chamfer. This will be 50 thousandths depth of cut. Okay, we're back from that. There's the chamfer cut. Climb milling. Uh, excuse me, not climb milling, just conventional milling. I didn't climb mill either. And there's the uh, face cut. All in all, I have to say the tool performs really, really nice. The cuts are great. And uh, the fact that those little very very tiny points popped off the end of the bit uh, doesn't seem to uh, hamper it at all hope you enjoyed the review and I will put links uh, to this product in the uh, description down below